Hello there my fellow Holo Table Heroes. Happy Monday everybody. It's time for a new Galactic Challenge. Now it's a new week, no Grand Arena still, no Conquest. So the Galact today's Galactic Challenge is all what we have really to play with. Uh, so we're taken to Coruscant this time where we have to face a squad of Sith. And to get max rewards we have to use a full squad of Jedi. So as always I'll cover the modifiers, feats, show you the teams, their mods and so on. Explain some of the mechanics that will help you achieve those feats. So if you're not interested in those details, as always, there will be YouTube chapters below so you can just skip through to the battles. I'll show you two battles here. So in first battle I'll show you a full Jedi team that can get all feats done quite easily in a single battle. However, maybe those critical hits could be a challenge or often sub depending on you know what Jedi you have. Uh, then the second battle I'll show you the troopers that can also very easily complete offense up and critical hits feats quite easily without any issues. Okay, so start off with the modifiers. Uh, let's look at the power struggles. That's the global modifier for Coruscant. So essentially whenever you defeat the leader, you win or if you defeat your leader, then you lose. Uh, so these ones are often straightforward, but because of the feats, you basically, if you just go straight for Vader, take him out, you will not get all the feats done. Uh, so just something to bear in mind, you will most likely have to stall the battle as hard as you can just to get those critical hits in especially. Um, here we go, then Humble Strike, uh, Modifier for Jedi, Meh, you get some static critical damage, it's not that Jedi really needed to be honest, but I guess it's nice. Uh, and then moving on, uh, the modifier for Sith, similar like Jedi modifier, is really not that amazing, but because for this case we will have to stall the battle as long as we can, you will have to watch out for Vader, because remember, he's in the leading slot, if you take him out, you will instantly win the battle, but if you didn't get your critical hits in, and your offense sub buffs done yet, you will not get those done, so you will have to stall the battle, and as you're defeating Vader's allies, he'll be coming stronger and stronger and stronger. So you really have to watch out for him in this one, actually. But otherwise, yeah, Sith modifier in other cases wouldn't be that, uh, you know, scary. Anyway, looking at the feats next, it's a Jedi challenge. So we have to use a full team of Jedi units. We have to score at least 30 critical hits and gain offense up at least 20 times. Again, both of these feats are quite easy to achieve, you'll just have to stall the battle if you're using a full Jedi team. If you're using troopers to get those done, it'll be pretty straightforward as well, uh, which I'll explain later. Alright, so this is the team that I'll be taking in. I've chosen uh, Jedi Knight Revan lead here because it gives extra critical chance to your Jedi allies. Uh, because when I tried Bastila, Bastila actually worked well, you know, because of all that bonus protection, but I wasn't getting enough critical hits. Uh, to hit those uh, the target of 30 that we have to achieve. So then switching to Jedi Trevon lead increased the critical chance enough that I was able to get it done. Um, and that's why I think Ryan works better. Plus you start up with tenacity up that a little bit helps. Now Grand Master Yoda he's a key character here. He's not only your main damage dealer here but on his basic uh, whenever he attacks an enemy below 50% health he will be granting himself offense up and then of course he can use battle meditation to spread it uh, on your the rest of the team. In terms of modding, uh, I didn't remod for this event. Like my Jedi, they have solid mods already on them, anyways. Uh, Shakti, another key character, because whenever she uses her basic attack, she will grant offense up to all allies that don't have it. So another great source of offense up, and then Yoda again can spread it whenever he can. Her assault team special ability is very useful as well. Uh, because remember the global modifier, if your Jedi Knight Revan gets taken out, you will lose the battle. Uh, so then you can use here the middle ability not only to cleanse debuffs from your allies, but also to hide Jedi Knight Revan in stealth so he can't be targeted. And the training exercise ability here uh, will call somebody for an assist as well, top up some health and protection on them if they need it. Alright, so moving on, Hermit Yoda. I really use him here just for his big heal because as the battle progresses, more enemies you're taking out, Vader is hitting harder and harder, so you will come to a point where you will need a big heal. And that's why Yoda, Yoda is there, really. Uh, just some speed on him, you know, that'll be enough. And finally here, Bastila, another key piece here as well. Uh, because, you know, we have to stall the whole battle and Vader will be getting more and more juiced up and if he goes into his Merciless, you could be in trouble very, very quickly because when he does that, he, even if you have your Revan in stealth, he removes stealth and then he could target and potentially take out your Jedi Knight Revan. 
Uh, that's why Bastila here is very good. Uh, we'll keep utilizing her basic attack that will keep landing ability blocks on Darth Vader so then he can't enter into Merciless and cause trouble. And what's also good about this basic as you've seen, you don't need to have a whole lot of potency on, on uh, Bastila to actually land this uh, just because she'll be getting extra potency for her basic anyway so that ability block will be landing pretty reliably as you will see from the battle then of course her rally special ability she will give critical chance up offense up to grandmaster yoda he again can spread it and then the sabre defenses is a very good ability as well you can it allows you to obviously stun somebody and then as well dispel buffs on them and also you can maybe land the, the buff immunity on scion so when he does get pain on you that you know you can you don't get stuck behind the taunt. So Bastila, another great addition to the team on top of obviously her battle meditation and things like that. All right, let's hop into battle and I'll, let me just show you how I run this team. Vader will go first. He gets all the speed because of all the Jedi on the field. Uh, then I decided here to call Bastila for an assist. Uh, so I landed ability block on Vader because on his next move he would go into Merciless. Uh, we go. Let's spread those buffs. Going after Palpatine first because he's unique, who will be eating at your Jedi every time they take a turn. So you definitely want to take him out as quickly as you can. Now we go We're landing quite a few critical hits. Now Sion is a bit of a pain, pun intended, <laughs> um, because he you know dispels all your buffs there uh, and then as well lands pain on your guys. Uh, but the good thing about it is you know if he dispels it then Shakti with her basic she can just put offense up again so it'll allow you then to quickly complete that swapping Termiter here with Yoda going after Marauder next uh, because you know Marauder uh, once he ramps up towards the end he could hit very hard as, hard as well so you definitely want to prioritize him if you can obviously getting a little bit stuck behind Sion here uh, but hopefully we can get around it again Making sure there's ability block on Vader at all times, that's why there with Shakti, a called uh, Bastila for an assist, not uh, Yoda, still stuck behind Sion. There we go, we got another mark online, so let's just go ahead, take our 6th Marauder before he juices up too much. Again, stick that ability block on Vader, keep him under control, uh, again spreading more buffs, and then go after a Sith Assassin next, because she can go into stealth. Um, still getting stuck behind sign here. There we go. Let's swap to meter heal up now. Uh, see if we can now maybe take out Assassin. Boom, there she goes. Perfect. All right, so let's just go after sign now. Again, make sure to land that ability block on Vader. Hide uh, Revan in stealth. Because at this point, you know, Vader's basic can do a lot of damage. Uh, he's getting all this buffs from Sith modifier basic attack there boom there we go there goes savior <laughs> anyway let's uh, get rid of Sion. there we go and then just a case of taking out vader i think i've done enough here oh uh, come on give me ability block there we go again still no counter for our galactic challenges so no idea did i get 30 critical heads uh, and 20 and offense up 20 times i'm pretty sure i did so let's go ahead, there we go, land the stun on Vader, just to make sure he doesn't do anything silly here. Uh, spread some buffs as well with Yoda, let's see if we get a chance to spread him one more time. Ah, oh, not quite there yet. Alright, heal up. Mm, ability block, perfect. Spread those buffs just to make sure we did get offense up 20 times. And now we can just go ahead, put Vader out of his misery. And there you go guys, that's how I completed all the feats in today's challenge in a single battle but granted you know with this Jedi it is a little bit of a, a dancing around there um, you know you have to stall the battle and then did I get off and sub 20 times did I get enough critical hits so if you're struggling to do those two feats with Jedi another great option for this uh, is troopers it's very straightforward here to run so let me just show you my guys obviously you want Veer's lead for the whole Termiter train um, that he's got going here on his lead and you get some extra speed for your guys as well but most importantly here unique as well will be crucial because whenever you do defeat an enemy all imperial troopers gain offense up right so the feat is we have to gain offense up 20 times and we got five enemies so just by taking out five enemies you'll be gaining offense up 20 times so you don't have to worry about at all the offense up feat here uh, but we, even that we still have other sources of offense up on the Imperial Troopers, but just he's unique 
will be more than enough to get that knocked out. And obviously bringing Gideon here, we can push their meter back because Marauder otherwise will take a quick turn and interrupt, you know, your turn meter train. Uh, then here uh, Stark is important because this ability here will grant your guys, amongst other, other things, critical chance up. Remember, we have to land 30 critical heads. So this will allow your guys to easily land critical heads. So these critical heads and often sub with the trooper squad is really important. Obviously Piet himself grants often sub. It's not that we need it, but hey, uh, at least it'll start our turn meter train roll like uh, when Piet gets a turn. And I'm bringing range trooper here just for some assist and everything. Again, I don't want to bring in a dark trooper because his basic does not crit. So it wouldn't be as useful. And also I want to stall the battle out make sure I get my 30 critical heads in. So bringing Death Trooper with Death Mark or Dark Trooper would make this too fast. All right, uh, first things first, you do want to go after Sith Marauder because he'll be gaining all these bonus turns whenever you get buffs anyways. So he'll keep interrupting your Terminator train. So just first target him. There we go, Mass Assist here. Come on, one more head. Boom, there he goes. There we go, Terminator train engaged. Probably go after Sion next because of all the pain we'll get stuck behind him anyways. So I just take him out next. There we go. So you can see we're landing lots of critical heads. And everybody gain off and sub every time we defeat anybody. So troopers, if you're struggling to do with Jedi everything like I showed you in the first battle, troopers make these two feats really really easy if you do have them geared up. There we go. Only Vader to go. And they made a quick work of everybody. Now Vader, as you can see, he's recovering some health and protection because damage over time keep expiring and then because of his lead he keeps reapplying them but you know eventually you'll be able to burn for him uh, once you build up enough of Emperor's Trap you'll be able to take him down in no time and there you go guys that's how it was again for today's challenge to get all feats done either with Jedi in a single battle or if you don't want to bother and you know dance around too much with the Jedi there while you're getting your critical hits in you can then just send in your troopers for the second battle and they'll knock out that very very easy all right guys thank you for watching hope you find this video useful and helpful let me know in the comments below or on my discord server but until then have fun enjoy your life and may the rng be with you my friends